Hey guys, Juicy Bite here. Today we're going to be trying out the Orwell demo. So I've not tried it yet. I'm not entirely sure what to expect other than what I've read on the store page of Steam for the description and everything like that. But I have to say it is rather intriguing description about using an anonymous computer system to track people and figure out what's going on. A kind of big brother idea and I'm curious to see how they go about it so let's get started right so this seems to be the start screen what we have is it saying welcome you have been accepted into Orwell please create a profile so let's do that and I've clicked create congratulations you have been selected for the Orwell test phase Please create a profile, step one of three. Select a profile picture. So let's see. Let's go with this one. And your name. Well, we are Juicy Bite, so let's call ourselves that. Next step. Did you know you are the first accepted applicant? You may now enter your email address, step two of three. Enter your email address. Note, entering your mail address will allow us to inform you about updates on your case. The addresses entered will be handled with care and not be used for any other purposes. It is marked as optional. Now, as this is a demo and not the full-fledged game, I'm going to skip it, okay? Not entirely sure how that's going to affect the gameplay, but we will see. Be diligent. Your work has severe impact. Please agree to the following terms. I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives and city and sins of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. Then I have a tick box and it says, I agree to the terms stated above. Let's tick the box. Please wait. Setting up profile. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Your registration is now complete. Please wait. Logging in. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but it seems we're looking through a security camera and it seems to be marking people, checking out their details somewhere, maybe in some global registration database. Looks like a park of some sort. Oh, a police record found on this person. There's been a, a bombing. This statue, it's it's gone. Episode one, the clocks were striking 13. So it says it's April 13, 2017. And someone called Smiles says, you're online, good. Call me Smiles, I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together, we will form both the first and last line of defense against terrorism. You know, being the first and last line seems like a really thin line, as there's only two of us. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Right. We're going to assume we applied. I don't remember filling in any application forms, but don't know. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. So if we look here, 
We've got a red mark and it says reader. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there's new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. So I guess because this is supposed to be a national newspaper, it's got like fact in it, or so we assume. So we're going to hit reader as there's not really any other buttons to mess with. And it tells us bookmarks, the national beholder, and I've got headlines. So let's check out the headlines. Oh, maybe we're not going to check it out yet. Feel free to browse the national beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. Okay, so let's browse it. That sounds like a good starting place. So first of all, we have a changing ad. That's quite clever, interesting. Okay. And apparently this is the leading newspaper of the nation, fast, precise, honest, and probably the only one from how he described it. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Well, we, we saw that just in the opening sequence. Explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Three people killed, five severely injured. Authorities receive strange letter. Okay, we'll come back to that because we know that's the story we're following. Let's see what else is on the page. Negotiations failed. The president aborts negotiations with opposition, violent riots, and they encourage renewal. We've got to read more as well. Movie shooting complete. Shooting of Grey Shadows Saga lasted four years, finalized. Third part of the saga to hit movie theaters next Valentine's Day. And we can read more about that as well. So let's read more about that one because I don't think it's going to have anything to do with it, but it'll give us an idea of how the website works. Okay. So it's telling us what we just read. We've got a little picture. And then we've got the story underneath it. I'm not going to read the whole story out to you guys. You're probably not that interested, but I'll sit for a second too. If you are interested in reading it, you can, or you can pause this video and have a quick read at it. Right. We're going to go back up to the negotiations one and let's look at that one as well. Okay. So it's again, repeating what we just said. We're going to scroll down to the rest of the story and just have a quick scan at it. Again, I'm not going to read it. But if you are interested in reading it, feel free to pause the video now and then continue when you're done. Now we have the final one that we're actually interested in, the one about the bombing. We're going to click read more. We have the summary at the top and then we have the story. Now I am going to read this one as it is part of what we're looking at. At approximately 7.50 p.m. on Wednesday evening, an explosive device detonated at the Freedom Plaza. According to official police reports, three people were killed and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Indeed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Experts believe the attack was an act of terror, with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Police reports also confirmed that several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song, The Thoughts Are Free, had reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on high alert until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. Right, so we're going to hit back. And he said, when we're done, we're going to click unknown person. Okay. The profiler, which is this over here, holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is our main suspect. The blue haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Okay. So I'm going to click the little bookmark picture and go back. So we have the newspaper that we were looking at and all the stories, so we can jump to them later. We've got the police database. So we're going to click that. Her name is apparently Cassandra Watergate. 
The highlighted elements on the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hover over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. So I guess what we're trying to do is gain the basic information we need about her over here. So things like date of birth, address, occupation, relationship. Okay. And then things like her physique, contacts, aliases, personality, background. So we have this. We've got her arrest record. She got a file number and a picture and her name. So her name's Cassandra Watergate. And I guess, all right, arrest date was June 10, 2016. So like nearly a year ago. Assault on a police officer. Arresting officer was Lloyd Duncan. And she was held at this police station that's holding this record. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcefully moved, where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the subject cooperated immediately. Okay, so I'm not really seeing anything that would like, make me think she's the baddie, but we've been told by Smiles to drop the stuff over. So we're gonna just do what Smiles told us to do. And we put her name over, okay? We'll do a picture. Oh, Smiles like that. He says, very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Information and documents can only become a data chunk when it can clearly be assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has been unlocked. We will need this information to progress. So her prior one was an assault. Good. With the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in consequence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. Nothing else here. He's clearly wanting us to go to the bookmarks. And he's found us the national beholder again. So we're going back to the newspaper. And it seems it's found an article about her called, Is This Woman a Terrorist? Is this woman a terrorist? Woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago, remains in custody. Trial scheduled for August. There's a picture, the same picture that we used. The case that keeps the media and the public guessing. Cassandra, pictured above, who had allegedly injured a police officer Nearly two weeks ago is still being held in police custody. That's quite a long time. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration. Well, we know that's where the bombing took place. But before we take that over, let's keep reading the article. A demonstration against the newly newest amendments to the government's model project, the safety bill. Okay, so we've got a picture of the protest. Don't see her in it, but they don't like cameras, which will have something to do with Orwell, I guess. Due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the crime to the accused. Cassandra, who is an artist by profession, has denied the accusations completely and has asked her fans to show their support. A trial has now been scheduled for mid-August. The case received nationwide attention with when Catherine Dela Cruz, Secretary of Security, labeled the alleged perpetrator alongside the other rioters as anti-governmental terrorist. If we scroll back up, this is from July last year. So the attack was in June. This is in July. And we've got two pieces of information. So we're gonna take the artist one first, I think. Cause that'll tell us her job. Now, personally, all this evidence seems to be a little bit wishy-washy that we've seen so far there might be more and if this is a year later it's unlikely she was actually convicted of whatever the crime is but we're following our instructions from smiles because we have to trust someone in this really teeny tiny line of defense oh yes 
one who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance. So he's commenting about the fact that she's an artist. I think it's good that you think ahead, but let's focus on the current objective. So he's scolding us now. He says, I've held back a new document for you. I'll grant you access once you're done. Okay, so we'll scroll back up and we will take this about what she was doing when she assaulted the police officer. Smiles is back. He says, the exact same location as the assault. Then she turns up there right before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. I don't know, guys. I'm not entirely convinced that she did it. I'm not saying she did or didn't, but, you know, the evidence isn't really there. There's an awful lot of people in those photographs. Smile says, as you know, Ms. Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Great, you found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? So the other document he's talking about must have to do with the artist, since we kind of did this at a sink. But getting clarity on what our job is, that's really important. And I'd really like to know how he fits into this whole line of defense. You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators like yourself, well, that's, that's me, are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me, so that's smiles, only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. So let's go back to our bookmarks and we now have a new one which is Cassandra's port and it appears to be her artwork portfolio okay given the little picture here let's go have a look at it wow she's happier in this picture can you see that so if we scroll down we've got the painters welcome to the port of Cassandra Watergate she says hi I'm Cassie a colorful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow Glad you found me. Finally found the courage to quit my dull day job, focus on my art career, and put my stuff on portfolio. Below you will find a hand-picked selection of my latest work. You can browse through them by clicking on the arrows on the left and right side of the pictures below. See something you like? Why, of course you do, because it's freaking awesome, isn't it? Leave a message on my Utel account, the Cassie92, and tell me which piece you'd like. I'm going to make a fine art print and ship it right away to your doorstep. Best thing, free of charge. Now off you go and have fun. And her tags are professional, painting, pop art, and various. So let's see her pictures. Okay. So the first one is my beloved furball, Kikiko. Definitely the only family I need. Yep, that beaut is me. I was never sure about the title though, The Businessman's Forgotten Daughter or victim of traditionalism in pink. What do you think? A Christmas present for my darling. This was actually meant to be a private piece, but oh well, I have a hard time keeping it to myself. And then that's it. So she's only got three pictures. So she has a cat. She sees herself as a traditional person and that she is the daughter of a businessman who ignores her. And she's got a guy in her life and they were at least together at some point at a Christmas. I don't know which Christmas, but there you go. So right now we don't have a ton of stuff. Um, let's add this as an update for her, okay? Because we're not entirely sure if it's newer or older. Okay, so we've updated it. She's nice and happy in it. So let's take the one about her job because it'll update it. Because she did have a previous job. We don't know what it is. There we go. Smiles agrees that we should find out what the job was. We also have her Utel account. Let's take that. Good. You found a chat handle that will allow us to overhear any conversations on the account. The listener has been unlocked. So that's right here next to the reader. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. Okay. 
And we're going to take this one about the business starter so we know about her family background. Oh, I just had a beep. Let's go to the listener right here. Right. Session with an unknown person. Hey, you. Hey, Josie. I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me, Sherlock. I'm in the middle of buying all of Botan with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind you going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. Wine? What does Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney and all-around badass, have in mind this time? Probably just a business call from one of his favorite clients. Actually, yes, that is exactly what's going to happen. Very serious business, Cassandra. I thought as much. Guess I better pick up shitloads of wine. You'll have to get this client of yours pretty buzzed to handle all of that business. One bottle should be fine. She's a lightweight. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills when the big pharma, aka my parents, then. Oh, come on. I was only teasing. Speaking of your parents, when are you going to tell them about us? Ugh, yeah, maybe. Gotta go now. Text you later. Okay, so that's somewhat interesting. So let's take this one about Joseph. Doing that, Smile says, you now have a profiler for a related person. It can be accessed via the profiler. Data chunks will only appear for the targeted persons and can only be extracted into the relevant profiles. Okay, so we'll stay with Cassandra right now. We'll go the one about what her parents do for a living. So Smiles got his attention caught with that. He says, Watergate, pharma entrepreneurs, that does ring a bell. Okay, we've got another report pop up. You know what? I'm just going to take everything. The platinum card. Smile says, wait, she stole the credit card of her lawyer. Really? Well, we should be able to track the credit card of this Langley down and lock it for him. Done. No, really, no need to thank me, Mr. Langley. Right. So this is interesting. We know that the two of them are together and that he was all right with her using his credit card. But because we dragged the information over to the profile, it's lost all contacts. And Smiles says that she stole it. So that's a bit of a danger with dragging everything over. Now, if we go to the reader, we're actually going to take the Christmas present over so that we know she's in a relationship. And I think that now gives us everything but where she lives. So we'll take that as well. So you're under the impression that our wonderful Mrs. Watergate is really living in Wonderland. Somehow I doubt that, call it intuition. People lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I cannot identify as wrong so easily? You have to be more careful next time around. All right, so that means we can't just pull everything over. Let's continue on the national beholder. Procedure closing raises manipulations, suspicions. Oddly enough, this guy looks like the picture she drew earlier. Let's switch to Joseph's profile, okay? What it says is investigations into the malicious injury of a police officer have been dropped due to lack of evidence. Speculated that the accused parents manipulated the trial. Orwell informs me that you just encountered conflicting data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the other will become invalid immediately. I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once the information has been perused, there is no way to reverse your choice. So let's read the article. It says, The case has been the center of media attention for the last month. It has finally come to an end. Cassandra was acquitted of the alleged assault against the police officer before the trial took place, with the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday. 
However, the case might be reopened should new evidence be discovered. The suspect's lawyer, Joseph Langley, pictured above, welcomed this outcome. At no point has there ever been any valid evidence that my client was guilty, at no point at all. The revered defense attorney commented during a post-trial process gathering. The defense successfully brought video evidence depicting the incidents in question, which eventually turned the tide of the proceedings. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim expressed their disappointing on hearing the results of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. The victim, a father of two young sons, was rushed to the hospital after the incident in mid-July, where he's still in an induced coma, unresponsive to treatment. Hmm, I'm not sure, guys. We've not seen this video they're referring to, and that would be really useful. Let's see, if we click her, do we get any other highlights? No, okay. So we're not going to do anything with that yet, because I'm just not sure. We're going to go to the Watergate Pharmaceuticals and see their products, okay? Check out their website. So this is their product page. They enrich lives with our industry-leading range of products, making an important contribution to your well-being. So we have mood elevating medication. Some of their most popular ones are cough drops with natural herbs, migraine and headache medicine, concentration and cerebral performance, arthritic joint pain, antidepressants, all-around painkillers that dissolve in water, and soothing pills for a good night's sleep. Let's look at the company itself. The name Watergate has been inseparable from progression and improvement in pharmaceutical research for more than 80 years. Watergate Pharmaceuticals is one of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine, and at the same time is the largest medication exporter to all areas of the world. The business Watergate Pharmaceuticals Incorporated has been in the hands of the Watergate family, owning and managing the firm ever since its foundation in 1931. Now that's interesting because she quit her boring day job to become an artist, okay? So that implies that she used to work here. And if she's an only child, they've just lost their little dynasty going on. Their CEO is Bruno. He is the grandson to the founder. Apart from working in the family business, he's also the founder of Central Pharmacy Congress and the head of the charity foundation, Children of Purgers. Dr. Alice Rodergate is the head of research and development. She holds a PhD in biology and chemistry and leads the research and development laboratories. Then we have Cassandra Watergate, junior COO. Wow, she looks quite a bit different. Look at that. And we don't really want this one because that's not what she looks like at all. This is what she used to be. Let's see. It's going to put it in the little book icon, okay? Instead of the occupation one. So we're going to take it. Appointed to a COO, probably by one of her parents. Being an artist and a junior COO seems quite odd. She also mentioned she'd quit adult job, didn't she? It's a little slow, guys. Carrying the family tradition to the next generation, Alice and Bruno's daughter, oh, dad and mom, will soon be joining the exec ranks. Her business acumen and unique flair will write the next chapter. So she is an only child. And if we take this, we get two new profiles that we can start doing. That's probably important. Right? Smiles agrees. He says, keeping it a family affair. So he says, documents that you've already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The beholder just published a new article you may take a look at to see if there's any new information available. Yeah. Let's click jobs. There we go. If anyone is looking for a job in the pharmacies of a pretend world called The Nation, they are currently looking for chief operating officer because Cassandra quit. Let's pull that one over, right? Smiles agrees. He might be wrong because nothing stays in the family. This is probably what she meant about quitting her job. Good. So it's kind of tie up loose ends. Okay, so let's go back to our bookmarks. Let's check the headlines. 
what we have is crime rate continues to drop. The Ministry of Security has presented the latest numbers on crime stats in the country. Never before have there been so few violent crimes. Let's click read more. On Thursday morning, the Minister of Security published a new crime stat report for the preceding year. According to the report, the number of recorded criminal offenses decreased by 4.8% in comparison to last year. The crime rates have been continuously declining over the past several years as a direct result of the implementation of the safety bill, the one she was demonstrating against, guys. The Secretary of Security, Catherine de la Cruz, appeared very pleased by these numbers and declared this development an outstanding result of successful safety policy. When confronted with the recent assault in Bataan, she once again admitted the ambitious goals of the government have not yet been accomplished. She further mentioned that activities are currently being established, which will have a considerable impact preventing further incidents. So I guess we need to go back and decide what we're doing about this, okay? I'm, like I said, I didn't see a lot of evidence. If they showed video footage, then it is possible that that's what's going on. So do we think there was actually a lack of evidence or do we think her parents got it closed? It says they brought a video depicting the incident in question. You know what? We're going to go with lack of evidence, okay? All right, so he thinks that's a pity. Currently, I'm thinking that our Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change. Don't you agree? Let's find out what happened in between these two lives of hers. What may have caused this radical shift? It's a good idea. Okay, so Cassandra's timelines, timelines. All right, let's see what this is about. All right, we're going to disable that portrait because it's not really helpful with her sticking her tongue out at us. Status, you're invited to tea inside the rabbit hole. We have her birthday. So we're going to take that. Her interests are art, music, and activism. So let's take that. He says, what a lineup. What she likes, the targets, I guess they're a band, painting, Alice in Wonderland, and her cat. So she posted on March 1st today. Woohoo, first day in freedom, far away from the shackles of Watergate Pharma. Okay, so we know when she left. Jake says, what? Who's going to pay for your stuff now? Mommy and daddy won't like this. Of course, they're not going to like this. Cassandra says, listen, Jake, I'm not daddy's little girl anymore. My art already got me a lot of money, more than enough to pay all my bills. Don't you worry about me. How on earth did she post that in March? And that's January. I don't understand. March 1st, 2017 does not come before January 29th, 2017. January comes first, people. Oh my goodness, that's so annoying. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get over it. I'm going to get over it. I promise. I'll just scroll so I don't have to see it. Okay, despised puppets of the state. You have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There is nothing left to do but to congratulate you. These are my personal wishes to you from the deepest abyss of my heart. F you, all government lackeys. Most painfully, Cassandra. Wow. I mean, she posted that the same day that Jake made the comment about who's going to pay for all her stuff. Mm, but she could also just be throwing off steam. So we're going to skip it. See if we can see something further down. So Mary says, Sweetie, what is the matter? That totally doesn't sound like you. We haven't hugged out for ages. you got to get out from time to time. You'd feel much better. Cassandra says, Shut your mouth. I am not in the mood for your stupid act. I told you again and again. I cannot deal with this right now. Mary says, okay, you know what? I'm really sorry that I still care about my best friend, no matter how often she decides to give me the cold shoulder. But in that case, that's in the past now. Then she changed her relationship status. So we're going to take that because that tells us when she changed it. Okay, so he's noting too that it's her lawyer and that it might be noteworthy. So... The beholder actually wrote about me, but surprise, surprise, they had to mention speculations over my parents buying me out. Make the click counts go boom, doesn't it? So we still don't really know what happened. She kind of just flipped. 
And we've read this article from earlier. Mary's back. She says, at least you're redeemed. Want to blow off steam together. She's nice to Mary now and says, not today, I have date night. She says, ooh, who's the lucky one? Well, if she wanted to know, she just needs to scroll up. August 20th, August 10th. Why is this not in date order? It's not a timeline. If it's not in date order, it's not a timeline. Oh my goodness, that's just so annoying. Ah. Okay, so she gets happy that the case is closed. Mary says, congrats, never had any doubts. Wait. Wait, is this going backwards with the newest stuff at the top? Is that what's happening? So people don't need to scroll? Because people are lazy. Okay, guys, that's what's happening. I'm sorry I was freaking out. For the big line, this line, it is the newest is at the top. The oldest is at the bottom, and the comments go from newest at the bottom, the things at the top. So you know what? We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and start there. Okay. I might stay a little bit calmer doing that now that I know how it works. I do apologize for that if I was a little bit slow. Okay. She says, enjoying her shopping tour and her best friend at all times. Okay, so we know from earlier that she's not really her best friend anymore. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna see the other conflict, okay? Alright, so we're gonna take the newer one, since we know they're not friends anymore. Oh, it is sad, isn't it, to lose a bestie? Right, and we're gonna scroll back down. We've got just discovered a new band. Mary doesn't like it. Cassandra thinks it's awesome and the singer is cute. Mary doesn't agree. Cassandra says she's missing out. Okay, let's scroll up. So she changed her profile pic just before the demonstration. Thought the concert was amazing. Amazing. Did a little hair makeover. So that must be when she changed her hair to blue. Okay. Mary doesn't like it. Jake doesn't really like it either, but he's not coming out and saying that. Juliet thinks it looks nice and thinks she needs a new name as well. Juliet gives her a nickname. What does this give us? This gives us a new contact and an alias. Okay, so we're going to take that. Oh, okay. It says it's a good to record every alias then we can match data chunks to target persons whenever they are using them right and then harrison says that's the spirit now i'd like to invite you to our little activist group if you want to join us would be nice to have you with us for the protest on freedom plaza on friday we are so taking that one because now we know who the organizer is Wants to know if there's anything more specific. Oh, listener. Joseph. Hey, did you hear about Freedom Plaza bombing? Yeah, don't remind me. You know I have a history with that place? Already messed me up enough that I had to catch a bus from there every day. Too many bad memories, and now I was just there moments before it happened. I never should have gone to that protest. Darling, you don't need to justify yourself to anybody, especially not me. I was happy when Goldfells accepted me in too, though. I desperately wanted to go to prove my worth to the cause. Think of it this way, if you would not have gone to the protest, you would never been wrongfully indicted and we never would have met. There's your silver lining, girl. Yeah, and I would not have been called a terrorist in all those papers. You're not a terrorist, okay? Ain't I? You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And she said, oh. He said, what? Your card's not working here. Can't buy anything. Have you gone bankrupt or something? Oh, that's because Smiles locked his card, remember? Unless you went on a serious shopping spree, there should be plenty of money on there. I guess we'll have to go without wine then. Here's the thing. I've got an appoint important appointment tonight, and it's surprisingly out of schedule, and I can't post in it. 
You gotta be kidding me. I'm very sorry, darling. We'll see each other tomorrow. You always have an appointment. An appointment here, appointment there, appointment everywhere. How can you constantly do this to me? Wow, she's gotten really bad because she can't even spell anymore. Darling, please calm down. Have you taken your methorin? Yes. It's the only thing that matters to you that I'm on happy pills all day. Darling, please, it's not like that and you know it. So I keep my mouth shut whenever you leave me hanging. Oh, this is, this is getting into a lover's tiff, isn't it? If I don't show up at this appointment, I risk losing a very important client. Fine. Don't you understand that? Oh no, I totally understand. Don't you risk losing that very important client of yours now? Cassie, don't be like that. I get it. I guess I'm not an important client anymore. Oh, come on, Cassie. Man, she's guilt tripping this guy. Going home now in case I'm getting up on the priority list of yours anytime soon. Please. Alright, so we had a couple of things pop up here. So we have that she takes methorin, which is a medicine made by her parents' company. Who wants us to look it up? We'll do that later. Let's scroll back up. There was something else. There we go. The gold fells. Co-member of thought. I don't know what thought is. Okay. Oh, a related document. It's the activist group. I wonder if that's the activist group that she was talking about on her timeline. Okay, and let's scroll up. Catch a bus every day from there. So she's there every day. So let's put that in. So he does agree that it could be a coincidence, but he's going to reserve his thoughts about it. Okay, I think that's all the pieces to pull out. I don't think there was any others. Let's go back to the reader and keep going through this timeline. Okay. She says, case closed. Mary says, congrats. Harrison thinks she's his hero. Says there's a thousand cams on the plaza, but no proof. He thinks cams for safety is one big lie. Juliet is happy for her. And Cassandra says, thanks. And she's going to write a blog for them. Then we have her getting annoyed about the article on The National. Then we get that she's in the relationship with Joseph, her lawyer. That she is broken up with her friend, Mary. I don't know. I think she's just... We'll leave that one for now. I think she's just having a bad day, maybe. I don't know for a fact, but we'll leave it sitting there. Let's scroll. Let's see what methadone is. We're going to go to products. Scroll down. There it is. It's an antidepressant. Wonder if her adverse attitude towards the assault is actually worth anything then. Perhaps emotions were high if she was reliant on this medication. I think he's right. I mean, we did just see that happen. Let's scroll back up. Overview on the thought. Okay, they've got a quote that didn't do anything. Okay. And then we got some blog entries. Let's start at the bottom. Are the thoughts still free? And it's been archived. Oh, they have to be it's forbidden. Uh, all of these, all of these are closed. Let's do, uh, do the first one, I guess. Okay, so she's using the uh, alias. She wrote this in September. She's using the portrait that she painted. Talks about how there's a lot of cams in Freedom Plaza. And that ha that's ironic. Okay, so she says they're always against violence. Says there's a conflict somewhere. Okay, let's click the link. Really long. Okay, then we have three. Hmm. Not really getting a lot of anything. Okay, not a whole lot of anything on the site. Go back to her timeline. Oh, she updated it. So she seems kind of happy about it. She says, ha, huh? finally someone who had the grit and explosives to show how futile surveillance is. So that contradicts the whole non-violence part. So he thinks she's out of her mind. I don't know if she's, if she's not taking her meds, she might have been able to do it. I don't know. So back in September last year, she said they always wanted to be peaceful. But we're not investigating the past one. We're investigating the new one. And right now, she's a bit loopy. So we're going to take that one, I think. Looking at what you've extracted so far, we're dealing with a potentially dangerous personality. I'll indicate that to law enforcement. 
All right, what we found so far is all good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little more concrete. We have to dig deeper. Oh, listener. Oh, with Juliet, the one who gave her her alias. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Jules. Cassie, I just wanted to know, your post on timelines about this assault, you really shouldn't write something like that. No. I just wanted to know what's wrong, Cassie. It's nothing, just between the two of us. I just had to let off steam, you know? It's because of what happened, isn't it? Yeah, and lots and lots of other stuff today. This bombing stirred up all this crap again, you know? What I did? What happened there wasn't your fault. Are they both typing at the same time? They were. Oh, oh, guys, I'm not gonna let it scroll down. Ah, it's still scrolling. What happened there wasn't your fault. Cassie, you hurt the officer to save me and you succeeded. You mustn't forget about that. That was so brave. How can it not have been my fault? Juliet, I smashed the skull of a father of two children because I lost it. Juliet says, who knows what would have happened if you hadn't stopped him and this is why you really should remove this post. Cassandra feels bad that she's the worst. I might be free, but not rightly so. I'm not innocent. Oh, Cassie, nobody is innocent. You'll have to let it go. Oh my goodness. Hmm. So we've got two options here. We can go with the one where it's Cassandra did it, where she's admitted her guilt because she was raging, which would then be that she's mentally unbalanced and is having problems with her medications and that's all part of it. Or we can go with what Juliet said, that she was being saved from the police to protect her friend, which means there might be more to this story than we know. Yeah. And if you are protecting your friends, you might go a little bit enraged depending on what she was protecting her from. So let's, let's take that one because Cassandra is so not stable right now, but her friend seems a little bit more stable. What? Where did it come from? This is perfect, we can arrest her and open the investigation again. However, we probably won't be able to hold her for long if it really happened in defense of this Juliet. Very good work, the intervention team is already on its way, we'll need to wait for confirmation. Next stop, Wonderland, right? Just kidding. Next time be careful with providing the wrong data though, okay? In Miss Watergate's case, it was not a problem to get her address with the help of the local police due to her former record. Another chat with Juliet. I thought about what you said. Maybe you're right. I should take the post down. It'd be better, believe me. Wait a second, somebody is at the door, BRB. Okay, I'll wait. And we know what's happening. That'll be the police. By the way, how is your boyfriend? You're still together? You haven't been talking about him all that much. Well, not as much as before. Hello? Are you still there? Cassie? I'll inquire if all went well with arresting Miss Watergate. You did a good job in the case anyway. Although we have no proof she's involved in the bombing, we might be able to question her. Despite acting in defense of this Juliet, she seems to be quite unstable and a threat. Okay, I just re received confirmation that she is now in custody. Very good work indeed. I'm curious about this thought group though, whether they... Oh God, another explosion guys. No, 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 take a look at the news. Breaking news, two dead after a second explosion. Explosion at the university campus kills two students. Is there a connection to yesterday's assault? Read more. Explosive, oh, he says that is horrible. Two dead, similar approach, same letter found. So these assaults are connected. And as if there wasn't enough already, Miss Watergate was in custody at the time. So that is her out of the picture, at least for this attack. This complicates matters massively so much for our simple test case. So I told you guys, I didn't think she did it. Been unstable, but I didn't think she was responsible for the bombing. I need to speak to my superiors, see how we are to proceed given these extenuating circumstances. You did good today. You can log off and get some rest by clicking the button. Try and get some sleep. I have a feeling the next few days are going to be trying at best. Okay, so we're gonna go log off. So, summary of what's happened. Based on the data you submitted, we learned the following. 
In the global scare that was in the Salt and the Freedom Plaza, the activist group thought was discovered, and there was a second assault. For Cassandra, we know that she had a criminally charged past that involved an injury of a police officer at a protest at the Freedom Plaza. She's an artist. The case was closed due to lack of evidence. She was in a relationship with her lawyer. She seems to have undergone a radical change after she joined the activist group Thought. Maybe they got her to stop taking her meds. Who knows? Collected data shows a potentially dangerous personality. More thorough investigation is suggested. Juliet claimed that Cassandra defended her by injuring the officer and an arrest was made. Okay, guys. So I'm pretty sure that's the end for us. So episode two isn't available yet. It comes out on October 27th. I have to say that was quite an interesting game. Not your usual style and setup. Okay. Uh, obviously, some things could have gone, gone a bit differently than I did. Might have uncovered something completely different than what we saw and had different effects and conversations that occurred. Not sure. Might be worth a second playthrough. Give it a shot and see what you think. Juicy bite out and have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.